and the gift of heaven uh, to Carver today. And that's what we're here to celebrate and what we're here to do. Uh, Jesus said in the last chapter of Matthew, All authority of heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And I will be with you always to the very end of the age. Step one, baptizing. And that's what you guys are coming to, to do today. Step two, teaching. If that's what you guys do at home and as you're part of the church family and the community here, um, that's what all of you guys are about here, is teaching. And I love Carter here what this, what this means, this promise of God in his life and what a great gift that is. That's also what you're doing as parents and sponsors, making that commitment to uh, teach Carter faith. Uh, to put the Word of God in his hands, that he can grow in his relationship with his Savior, to teach him the basics of the faith, the Ten Commandments and the Creed, so that he can live out this covenant with Jesus Christ until the day Jesus returns. So as parents and sponsors, if you promise to do those things, if so, say, we will. All right, awesome. Receive the sign of the cross on your forehead and upon your heart as a sign that you've been redeemed by Christ the crucified. In the scriptures, there's this great moment where people are bringing little children to have Jesus touch them and bless them. And the disciples rebuke them. And Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone that does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Such profound words that all of us, when we come to faith, we come to faith because God makes a promise to us, not because we make some great movement toward Him. And that's what we are, are witnessing here today is the very promise of God on Carter's life. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful, Lord, that your promises uh, are for us and for our kids. And we are so thankful, Lord, that you uh, have had your hand and your eye on Carter from the moment he was conceived. And Lord, that hand and eye continues in his life today as you make this promise to him to wash him new and uh, to bring him into your family. And Father, also that your hand and promise will be on his life beyond this day as well. We ask, Lord, for Adam and Bernadette, Lord, that you fill them uh, with your spirit to lead and guide him in their role as parents, uh, bind them all together as a family, uh, Lord, that they may love one another and walk with you uh, through this, this life. Father, we thank you for this incredible gift, and we pray it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I invite the congregation to stand. Uh, we baptize Carter into the Christian faith, and we're going to express that through the words of the Apostles' Creed. Just up on the screen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. All right, Carter. Here we go. Are you ready? How is this child to be in full name? Carter Matthew Milan, I baptize you in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Why don't you bow your heads with me in a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, we're so grateful, Lord, that even though we go kicking and screaming into your kingdom, you continue to call to us, you love us, you pursue us, and you make these incredible promises to us that you will forgive, no matter what mistakes we make, that your spirit will be in us to guide us and lead us, that, Lord, we are part of your family. And, Father, we are grateful for those gifts today in Carter's life. We pray your blessing on him and his entire family, Lord, as they... Grow in this promise day after day together, Lord. Guard them, guide them, protect them, lead them. And Lord, may they be filled with your spirit and your grace uh, to be your witnesses in the world of your great love. Father, we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
I know. I'd much rather look at somebody else too in the mirror, but that's okay. <laughs> at the moment Carter was baptized, we lit the candle. That candle represents the light of Christ that lives in him, uh, that promise to him uh, day after day that Jesus is his Savior. Oh, now a smile. I see how it is. It's all good. Anyway, you guys can head on back to your seats and we welcome Carter in the Guns family. Let's go ahead and stand up and keep praising God this morning.